Hey, this is Nultzer, and we're talking Pan-Asian Destroyers. The game in the background is the Girls of Kua First from the stream. Apologies for the stream and lack of the stream. My internet's just been really bad, and I can't stream when I can't upload, and I have 5% of the drop frames and all that stuff. So until the ISP fixes it, I'm probably just going to release two videos on YouTube. One World of Warplanes, chronicling my journey in that game. Boy, there's a lot of lines to level up. And then one for World of Warships. So, speaking of World of Warships, Pan-Asian Destroyers. Why are we here? Why are we talking about this? Because the developer blog has told us a bunch of juicy bits, and I want to talk about the finalized design for the Pan-Asian Destroyers. I'm hearing that it is incredibly close to the community contributors having the ability to release that content and share it with you. The game testing has really felt pretty good. So, Pan-Asian Destroyers, just for anyone who's not familiar, Deepwater Torpedoes, best-in-class concealment, American guns, and American smoke with the ability to equip radar. That's what we have expected, but there has been a couple changes that have, uh, well, introduced some nuance to it, and I want to talk about that and just give my thoughts on the line itself and where it stands and... Am I excited to level up through this finalized design? So, first of all, deep water torpedoes, those exist. There's nothing really changing there. You know, they won't be able to hit destroyers. They will be able to hit any and all battleships. 99% of the cruisers, and I think every single aircraft carrier. They have sped them up, and they've done a couple things to make it a little bit easier for a cruiser to see it, you know, visually, because the cruisers were also getting wiped out by it too. So we'll see how that works out. But deep auto torpedoes, immune to damaging destroyers, definitely not immune to damaging battleships and most cruisers. We also have the American guns, which they have terrible velocity, but they're good brawlers, right? They work out, they're okay. That's not really the primary identity of the Pan-Asians. The Pan-Asians is really the collective, the deep water, the conceal, the smoke, the radar. Smoke and radar are getting changes. And I think these changes are gonna work out to be pretty interesting. Now, the first change that they talked about was that smoke and radar cannot exist on the ship at the same time. You cannot load both of those consumables any longer. And this obviously applies to only tier 8, 9, and 10 because those are the only tiers that have access to radar. Now, previously, the radar was 10 seconds at tier 8, 15 seconds at tier 9, and then 20 seconds at tier 10. They boosted to 15, 20, and 25, I believe, as compensation for you having to decide between smoke or radar. Now, that's useful. It's a big choice. I mean, these, these are very useful abilities especially after hearing what they've done to smoke. So they did that change and people are like, oh, well, that feels much more balanced, which it does. Having smoke and radar is stupid. The whole point of smoke is that you cannot spot for yourself. And what does radar do? Spot for yourself. So I never understood that with the Belfast. Regardless, they are changing smoke as well. Now smoke, as of right now, my understanding was it's going to be American in nature, so really long cooldown or really long duration, but you couldn't layer it to such a degree that it was always up. Well, that is changing. This smoke will now have the potential, with premium consumables, to last until all the chargers are used up. Because it's one-to-one -one on the time that it stays in the world and the, the cooldown on smoke. So that's really interesting. Really, really interesting. Before the changes to firing from smoke, most people would look at that and say, that is the most broken thing they could possibly introduce. And I would agree. Well, now that you can't just blindly fire from smoke and benefit 100% from it, Wargate can be a little bit more aggressive with the duration of smoke and the potential to layer it on yourself. Before, you'd have to rely on others, and it got really cheesy that way, obviously. And that's one of the things they want to tackle with this 
denial of just complete concealment in smoke while firing. So what do I think? Well, I think that they will feel very vulnerable, for sure, because they won't have the ability to use their torpedoes against enemy DDs. And that's almost 50% of your torpedo hits is sending at smoke and trying to discourage enemy DDs from operating near an objective or pushing forward into you. If you take that away, that, that is a significant reduction in their ability to play the objective. So it only makes sense that their smoke would be probably the best in class. Having the ability to hide for four, five, six minutes is pretty cool. Now, obviously, hydroacoustic, radar, any of those skills and just sailing right up to you, they'll see you. But it's pretty cool that smoke is going to be that unique for the Pan-Asian destroyers. Is it going to ruin the game? I don't think so, as long as it comes in with the changes to smoke and firing from smoke, which it will. I know that for a fact. So we don't have to worry about that. And the other part of this is you know, radar is really, really good. It should convert to a kill. And if the smoke wasn't getting any better, you might say, well, you know, maybe I don't want to use smoke. Maybe I just want to use radar. Well, now you really have two skills that are very unique to this line, and you might demand having it uh, in a defensive posture or the other skill in an offensive posture. I really like that. I like that the radar system is making you vulnerable to detection because you can't have smoke on the ship if you're using radar. Deep water torpedoes are cool. Your gun systems will be useful in brawling. There's really a pretty solid design there. Is it perfect? No, I don't think anything's perfect. I think we might find that aircraft carriers will counter the hell out of them. I don't believe they have access to def defensive fire. So, if they're using radar, they will always be spotted. No matter what they want, they will always be spotted. But then you have complete opposite. That's the one thing that I could see is that because these two skills are just complete opposites in their play style, you're basically getting two different lines near the end for one. So if you're trying to counter their play, you really don't know what they're doing until you've seen them use an ability. So for an aircraft carrier, they could put a lot of focus on a Pan-Asian destroyer at high tier, or they could literally watch them sit in smoke for four minutes and never spot them. They could still drop on the location that the fire is coming from, but still, right, it's, it's, a, it's a big swing. But I do like that they are real choices you're making. Absolutely, there are two styles of play available to this ship. Will we discover that one works better than the other? Probably. But for now, having smoke that could last forever, or as many charges as you can, or having radar, which will assist you in detecting targets that are, I think, 7.5 kilometers away from your ship, that's pretty cool. And it just, it just is a much better design than having radar and smoke on the same ship. I really appreciate that, Wargaming. Thank you for doing that. I'm excited to play them. All the Wargaming employees I've talked to have suggested that they're very happy with the changes. They feel like the identity of the line is solid, solidified, and they're going to move forward and probably release at any moment for the community contributors. They just have to really feel like, okay, the, the win rates are right where we expect them to be. They're acceptable. And then that's when they'll pull the trigger and let us start showing off that content because, boy, do I want to talk about it. I love destroyers i have not played them but i can't wait to talk about it and it should be it should be any day now so that's going to be super exciting i hope you're excited to see the pan asian destroyers i can't wait to cover them if you have any questions about it you know i don't know not so this this unlimited smoke it sounds pretty ridiculous now well consider that fire from smoke will be adjusted when these guys are actually available. In fact, I think 612 should be out very, very soon. 
and that will have the adjustment and we'll have to get used to that and I'll talk about it, I'll make videos on it. That will absolutely happen. Maybe we'll see more different smoke designs because of this ability to design ships that they can't benefit 100% from the concealment of smoke all the time. So yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed this little discussion. I'm, I'm really excited to see, oh, is it gonna be radar? Is it gonna be smoke? I would like to sort of see that happen with the British cruisers. Is it going to be radar? Is it going to be smoke? I kind of feel like the British need smoke just to survive. If they could tweak it just a hair and make it a real solid choice, I would love that. Either way, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.